Good morning, this is Michael Lebby. Um, today's the 10th of March. I'm going to be talking to you today about commercializing polymer modulators on from Lightwave Logic. So the next slide is a safe harbor slide because we are a public company. Uh, I'd like you to focus on the gray bars at the bottom of the slide. These gray bars are the takeaway summary from each slide. So if you don't really want to look at all the details, you can certainly look at the bottom and have the takeaway. And uh, these slides will be posted at our website. So you can sit back, relax, and there's no real need to take notes because you can find the slides at uh, www.lightlogic.com. The next slide uh, looks at the exciting photonics market forecast over the next decade. And we can see here, this is the forecast from 2020 to 2030. So it's the next decade that's coming, but also shows you a little bit of history of the total photonic components. And we can see a rise, a good growth of these photonic components over the next decade towards $80 billion, which is a huge opportunity. And 66% of that market is going to be fiber optic transceivers. And so that is a huge opportunity for our technology is, is really going to be a very nice fit. And so the takeaway from this slide is, is that fiber optic transceivers really do explodes in opportunity and growth over the next decade. And that is a perfect vehicle uh, for light wave logic. This next slide shows our market positioning in this very dynamic environment of data centers and telecommunications and the internet in general. As we can see, our technology suite addresses the major pain points facing network operators today through the development and the creation of our own technology, which gives us the engineering advantage, which we can see on the left, that uh, will enable faster networks with our devices. And of course, faster networks can be leveraged into energy savings and reduction of network energy costs. And so our platform flexibility of using polymers and polymer modulators really enables these faster networks, reduce the energy costs. And that's critical for the internet. And that's really important for a big impact of what we do. And so the technology itself boils down to the device called a polymer modulator. And we have three different platforms here. We have the classic polymer stack. That is the classic polymer modulator using three layers of different polymers with different refractive indices. And that's generated really high performance results. We are moving quickly towards polymer plus where we can apply our polymers to silicon photonics and integrated photonics platforms, which we can see from the center of this graph. Silicon photonics is shown in the red layer, and we can add our technology very easily using fabrication techniques in standard fabs. And then we have a miniaturized design device design called polymer slot, which is on the right, which is under development. So these polymer modulators, easy to fab, low power, very, very fast in performance, very flexible, and are ideally suited for the data centers and the telecommunications network that actually are the backbone for the internet. So this is what a polymer chip looks like. And you can see the electrical contacts, which are shown in gold. You can see the size of the chip. It's 17 millimeters long by four millimeters wide. And it has a very high speed RF radio frequency contacts on the top. And these are fabricated onto silicon wafers and is ideal for our polymer plus, which is applying polymers to integrated photonics with technology platforms such as indium phosphide and silicon photonics. And so where is the performance of these polymer modulators compared to the competition? Well, I've shown on this graph here two really important axes. The vertical axis shows gigahertz. This is the natural bandwidth, the electro-optic bandwidth of the device, the natural speed of the device. And on the horizontal are years, starting from the year 2000 to 2025, and just under my video, 2030. And we can see 
the commercial limit today, which is indicated in the red dotted line, and many of the technologies that use optical modulators are actually below that red dotted line. You can see in green, we have already seen very high performance in polymer modulators, and that's expected to grow. And that actually is beating the pack. It's a disruptive technology, much faster optical components. And we can see I've actually translated the vertical axis in from gigahertz to actual device speeds that are used commercially. And you can see very, very clearly polymers versus the pack is a huge differentiation. And this is why we're excited at Lightwave Logic. So where are we today from a commercial standpoint? We're in the prototyping and the piloting stage. As you can see from this classic technology readiness level, the TRL scale that's used a lot around the world, especially from the US military from uh, standpoint. And so we are progressing quite aggressively on this scale. And you can see where we are. We've yet to be into manufacturing, but we're in the prototyping and the piloting stage. And we're interacting with the customers and we're receiving customer feedback as we speak. And so from a commercial business roadmap standpoint, polymer performance, reliability, robustness is certainly areas that we are focusing on. We today are losing and implementing customer interaction. We're testing, we're evaluating our prototypes and we're optimizing the performance. And then we are quickly moving towards the next block, which is going towards uh, design verification and partnerships. So our commercial business roadmap is actually progressing very nicely from my perspective and the company's perspective. And so I want to show a technology commercialization roadmap. So this looks at the, the business and splits it down into our technology and what we're actually doing. You can see we have unique chemistry, um, advanced uh, PKM materials, we're on the third phase right now, which are very, very high performance, which I've detailed in other presentations. We have unique chip design that actually is set for both 50G and 100G. Um, we have unique high speed performance. We've gone from pigtail packages and to chip on board packaging designs as we speak. And we have the Polymer Plus PIC platform where we are designing our polymers to go straight on to uh, silicon photonics, integrated photonics platforms to enhance the performance of those platforms. And so our technology roadmap in, emphasizes really our unique value to the industry and how we're progressing commercially from a technology standpoint. And in order to support that, we have a very robust pattern portfolio. We now have over 70 patents issued and in application um, and in development phase through prosecution. Very fundamental patents in chemistry, materials and devices. You can see some of the different uh, areas here. Um, we have domestic and international patents. We have lots of new filings and, uh, and lots of new patent applications. So what does this really mean? This means that you know we have freedom of manufacturing in this technology and we're very excited about it. And so I want to finish with, you know, what can polymers actually do for the internet? They can deliver radical innovation. This is what we need today. We've all suffered from bandwidth limitations because we all work from home. Um, but we do need the bandwidth. We do need the internet to go faster. And the internet needs devices to help do that. And so we have faster devices, devices that can be much lower power, which generates energy savings in the network, lower cost. We have simple fabrication, which is no different than the big silicon fabs today. And we have stability and robustness and reliability in our technology. And for us, this adds up to radical innovation to actually help and give a huge impact into the internet as we move forward over the next day. And I'd like to end with our investor relations contact. If you have any interest in learning more, feel free to contact the MZ Group. And uh, we have our address and uh, website there if you want to pursue our technology further. Thank you very much.